we're back. What is going on guys? Today we're going to be talking about this little light right here, the Guardian Angel clip-on light. And we're going to see if it has what it takes to replace the old-fashioned flashlight. So stick around to the end where I give my thoughts whether or not this light is going to be replaced by this light. And I'm also going to tell you how and where to get your hands on one of these bad boys. Alright guys, let's get started. So the question is, is this little guy right here the next step in the flashlight evolution? I don't know. So today we're going to be talking about the Guardian Angel Elite Series. So this light is just one of the different variations that the Guardian Angel company makes. Uh, they make other lights. This one happens to be geared towards more of the law enforcement because of the red and blues that it comes with, where as you can see the uh, red and blues all throughout. So this is geared more towards law enforcement. Uh, they have all red, they have an amber and green, I believe an amber and purple, uh, but I'll let you guys go and check it out yourselves. Inside the box comes your light with a base, magnet on each side, and a set of instructions. Kind of breaks down how to work the light. Just as a disclaimer, I didn't even read the instructions and it was user friendly. I was able to figure it out um, the way that it works, the way that it's set up. Within a couple minutes, I was up and running. Didn't even need to read the instructions. But anyhow, let's break it down real quick. So getting into the product, this light is rechargeable. We'll call this the back of the device where the magnet's located. There's a little flap, flip it open, and then you can insert a charger. Hold on, let me a second, let me get a charger. So the cable that it uses to charge is the little one like that charges pretty much all the Android phones and stuff. I don't know the exact name of it, but it's the Android one. Plug it in there and charge it as you would any other USB uh, chargeable device. So it's a pretty long lasting battery. I left it on all night just to test how long the battery will last. Um, you know, now I'm only sleeping about five, six hours because of a baby, but it lasted that long. So five, six hours on um, all night, it's pretty good. And it is clip on and there's different attachments that come where you can adjust it and clip it on to pretty much any surface. It also comes with a strong magnet on the back. This magnet uh, is pretty much how you're going to attach the different attachments. So let's get into the functions and the different buttons that it has and the layouts that it has. And then I'm gonna tell you the different ways that you can use this. Okay, anyhow, we have the R here that stands for rear. So when you click this button, uh, the rear lights will go on. We'll call it the rear deck for now. Those will go on. You can leave them flashing and you have the F, you guys guessed it, the F is for, not fun, front. So when you click the F, the front go on. Um, as you can see, there's a blue flashing LED here and a red one with two whites. Those whites are gonna be where the flashlight comes out. So let's turn on the flashlight. So the flashlight, there's a little button right here. Um, it's considered flashlight or work light. Here you click on this and then it goes solid. That's actually your work light. It's gonna be a red light. So if you work in midnights, um, this acts like as an infrared. If you guys seen the red dome uh, lights in police cars, more or less this acts like the same thing. So, and then it, there is, there's the uh, flashlight. In the back has the intensity, it's an intensity button. So as you depress it, it will go lighter, darker. Here you go. It cycles through, boom, boom. Boom, so you got three variations, a uh, little bit of low light, medium, and there's your high. And then you can have this one steady as the back are flashing. Now there's one more uh, on here, it's the giant uh, GA, the Guardian Angel uh, logo here, the giant one, and that one's kind of like, I guess you would call it the emergency mode, where they're all flashing here. Now there's several different uses you can get out of a light like this, and I'm gonna run through uh, some of them. Here we go. Now typically police uniforms are dark color. You might have black, you might have dark blue. Um, you do have some white, you do some have some light blues and depends on what area of the country or the world that you're in. But I want to say a majority of the time they're going to be dark color. It's a good idea to have one of these uh, for high visibility. If you're working on the street at night, take a traffic stop or you're doing traffic, uh, 
high visibility. The higher the visibility, the better. On police uniforms, they usually have these little loops that are up on the top on your shoulders here, where a lot of officers will wear their lapel mic up on the top of their shoulder, uh, which leaves the other loop open. There's a clip here that you can purchase separately, like these items here, that will clip onto that loop. And then this also has a strong magnet receiver, magnet to magnet, clip it on, and then you can wear up on your shoulder. So once it's up on your shoulder, uh, you can cycle through the different functions depending on what you're doing, and uh, then you'll be hands-free. Now, why is that important? As a law enforcement officer, you always wanna have or, or minimize the time you have something in your hand so you can have your hands free if you need to go hands-on with a subject or retrieve your gun. Almost 99.9% .9 of the time, you try to do things uh, as fast as possible with your gun hand uh, to, get, to get that free so you'll be able to reach it in a split second if you have to and you don't have to drop something to go and get your gun. So that little split second can cost you your life. So being hands free is super important. So also what these are good for, um, if, if you do uh, make an arrest or for some reason you need to search a vehicle, uh, you clip this up, hands free. You can use both your hands then to go and conduct your search of the vehicle. Also they have the um, red infrared setting here and that setting is good for uh, nighttime. The red is actually softer on the eyes. It allows your eyes and your pupils not to constrict as much. So you can keep your eyes adjusted to the night vision without having to readjust uh, once it goes dark. The red infrared is a, is a big plus. Again, having it up on your shoulder with it pointing down, you can do some paperwork where you don't have to use such a bright light um, to light up your whole vehicle. This way you could be a little more discreet and still get the job done. Now for non-law enforcement like EMS, uh, security, construction, they make devices with colors that are associated with your profession. Construction a lot of times is on the side of the road. One of these wouldn't hurt. Um, they also have attachments that attach to hard hats. So you can stick it on um, and attach it, kind of like the GoPro system with the different attachments. Security, now security, if you're working in a parking lot or maybe you're riding a bike, they have attachments for bikes as well. Attach it on there or again, attach it to your uniform. Now something that I saw that I thought was kind of interesting and a little outside the box, where I probably wouldn't have thought of it, maybe because I'm not in the scene anymore, but um, if you're a bouncer at a nightclub and you have a security light, these are good here. A lot of times bouncers have to deal with some patrons that are a little bit rowdy, and if you have to go get physical and physically remove them, or they get physical with you, you have two hands to be able to defend yourself, and this will be up here on your shoulder. If there's an emergency, and you need to get through the crowd, you can then hit this light here. Like I said, they make them for security. This wouldn't be the red and blues, but the amber is a pretty good idea. For any profession out there working in the dark or dark areas, I highly recommend a, a device like this. Now the big question, drum roll please. Will the Guardian Angel Elite Series replace the good old flashlight? And my opinion is gonna be no, no it's not. I do believe it's a very, very useful tool and every officer that's working out there on the street should have one of these. Um, but the flashlight is safe and I'll tell you why. The flashlight is gonna remain your primary source of light when dealing with a fluid situation or a situation that you do not have under control yet. What I mean by that is, on a traffic stop, you don't want your light telegraphing where you are and where you're approaching, and that's just for officer safety issues. So tactically, in a situation, you wanna have your flashlight steadily on um, because it telegraphs on where you're at. Now, a flashlight, I can hold it out away from my body, and tactically, uh, you just see a spotlight blinding your face. You don't know where my physical body is. So if someone was trying to harm me, um, they might think that I'm behind the actual flashlight, when indeed I could be holding it off to the side like this, blinding them. If they end up shooting some rounds at me, they might shoot it towards the flashlight and not be here directly center mass. Now that's why I say a flashlight's a little bit better when it comes to a fluid situation like maybe a search of a house or search of a perimeter when you're looking for a suspect. You wanna be as dark as possible, lighting up every now and then when you have to and not steadily lighting and telegraphing where you're at. So these devices, really, really good. Um, but in those situations, I would still definitely use the flashlight as my go-to. 
All right, guys, so that's the end of the review. If you want to learn more about the lights or you want to purchase one of these lights, go ahead and click that link below. If you do decide to purchase one of these, I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. If you put in the code 160 clip, again, that's 160 clip, you will get a free gift with your purchase. Not squad. Hooking you up. So that's it for the Guardian Angel Elite Series review. Stay tuned for more product reviews coming to the channel. And also, the YouTube series Police Cars on this channel starts again in a couple days. So guys, with that being said, I'll see you when I see you. And if I don't see you, then I'll see you. How you doing? My name is Brian. I'm a police officer in a small city in Western New York. Hi, my name's Joe. I am a police officer in a small city in Western New York. Hey everyone, my name is Matt Leppard. I'm a training instructor for the Georgia Department of Corrections and I'm also a deputy sheriff in one of our local jurisdictions. Hey everyone, my name is Deputy Miller. I'm with the Sheriff's Department here in Kansas. Highly recommended for anybody that works night shift. It gives you a hands-free option while you talk to people on the street. Having that light and not having to depend on a flashlight underneath my arm is a huge plus. So about four years ago, I got ran over uh, during a police chase. The suspect later in court said that he couldn't see me. Um, whether that's the truth or not, we'll never know. But I got ran over and I'm lucky to be alive. Um, and ever since then, I want to make sure that I'm visible at all times. Um, put it on my shoulder and it is bright. People can see me. I actually showed some co-workers uh, last night, and they actually ordered them after seeing mine. Whether it's on traffic stops, searches, interviewing people. Very helpful for officer safety purposes. Uh, my first guardian angel device, I tragically had run over after I was working a vehicle accident in the rain. Uh, my rain jacket snagged it. It fell onto the concrete and busted. The great people at Guardian Angel Devices actually sent me a brand new device to replace the one that I had lost during that accident, which I was extremely grateful for because it really tore me up that I got my Christmas present destroyed.